this is the separator. Uh, it was invented in 1840 by Gustave de Laval and it was a great boon to farmers because up until then uh, they had to set their meat in keelers or big wooden tubs and skim it with a skimmer like this. And uh, this is where the action takes place in the, in the separator. Uh, the cream is removed by centrifugal force. Uh, there are 20 skimmers in this. The milk goes down into it. There are holes at the bottom. The skim, it goes round at an awful speed. The skim comes up through the, those three holes and the cream comes up through a tiny little hole here and comes out at the top as cream is lighter than milk. Now I am putting on the skimmers or the platters as some people call them. On top of that I put this weight and I must, I, I put this one on top. This is quite a heavy bowl and now I put the nut on and you must tighten it well. I take this bowl and I will put it, this is the engine, and I put it on top of the engine and you have to wait until it peaks down. Now it's down. This is the spout for the skimming, so I turn that towards the top. This is the spout for the cream, it goes on top, cream is lighter, so it rises to the top. Perfect. Uh, in this, there is a float to regulate the uh, flow of milk, and I put it on top, and it goes on top here. This is the bowl for the milk, and you put it on top here. And now, uh, there are a, a few impurities in the milk, so we strain it with a, a, a muslin, butter muslin. So I just tie that on. Now pour the milk into the bowl. It's a good colour because it's only in the season and the powder has calved, just calved. Now I'll leave that much any in its full. This is the cream now because uh, Annie is uh, separating at the proper speed. You see a straight flow of cream, but if she was going much slower, you would see a big uh, stream of cream. It would be very thin, but unless it's a good thick consistency, you can make the proper arrangement.